Hello, we're back again. Right off the Chris Angel video where he pretended to jump the Grand Canyon. We've now found another hit called My Wife Lives as a Child. In Maryville, the heartland of America's Bible Belt, lives Wade, 35, and Michelle, 27. Who pretends to be a kid. Even though she looks a bit grown up there, to be fair. Didn't know a child reads books, you know. This actually doesn't seem too bad. Like any ordinary married couple, on a hot and sticky summer's day, they keep themselves busy with the daily grind. Right now, I'm just like a subcontractor. Just a professional handyman. And I also take care of my wife, who pretends to be a child. So basically, I got two jobs at once. But on our free time, we'll play board games, listen to Disney music. Arts and crafts, coloring. I'm a full-time baby girl. <laughs> full-time baby girl. <laughs> like it's a fucking job. So, uh, so what you been doing in these past few years? Uh... Didn't, didn't it say on my CV? I'm a full-time baby girl. I just pretend to be a child. I throw shit on the floor. I'm sorry, but if I brought a bird round to my house and she did that, you're getting thrown in the bin. Get the fuck out of here. You're throwing that up and you're not even going to pick it up. Jog on. Go somewhere else with that bullshit. I'm sorry, but come on. <laughs> like, this is just mental. You know, if it's what you're into, then fair play. Fair play. Because I would not be able to handle this one bit. Michelle prefers to spend her day dressing and acting as a toddler. Living a fetish more commonly known as DDLG, which is all about kinky age play. Hold on. So that, does he, is he turned on by this? Is he turned on by a woman pretending to be a child? That's mad. He's turned on by her throwing shit at the floor and, you know, shit in a nappy and pissing in a nappy. This video is so fucked. What DDLG stands for is Daddy Dom, little girl. I'm her dad. He's literally changing a nappy, man. He <laughs> She's doing fuck up. She must have the best life. She doesn't have to clean up. She can throw shit around. She doesn't even have to take a shit in the toilet because she's wearing a nappy. And she's my little girl, and I take care of her 24-7, just like you would a child. He's my daddy and my protector, and I need him. Oh. I want you too. These consenting adults engage in non-stop age play. I wonder how it started. You know when it's showing that photo there? I wonder how all this started. Did she go, I want to be a full-time child for the rest of my life. Will you take care of me? And he thought, yeah, why not? Fuck it. You seem all right to me. Yeah, I'll fucking wipe your ass when you've took a shit. Yeah, I'll clean up after you when you've finished pissing around. This is something to be taken very seriously. This isn't a game. This isn't something that we're just putting on a front. This is who we are. This is what makes us happy. You know what? Fair play. Fair play. Like I said earlier, I would not be able to handle this. I mean, even watching it is doing my head in. The way she just lobbed them crayons around, I'd be like, for fuck's sake, not again. Why, why have you lobbed that on the floor? You're fucking 27 years old. What is happening here? I am baby girl every day, almost all day. From the time I wake up till a few hours before I go to bed, I'm in little space. Every morning, I get bubble bath with all my favorite bath toys. Please, 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 please stop with the voice. I know obviously it's age play, but fucking hell. I know I do this, and I, I, I sound like this for the rest of the day. And I pretend to be a child, yay! She sounds like a fucking South Park character. And if I don't get a bath, I get sad. It's mostly fun and games, but when Michelle misbehaves, there are repercussions. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, so... She can't just go around throwing crayons like she has here. 
No. You better fucking clean up. If you don't clean up, you ain't going out your room for the rest of the day. I bet that's one of the punishments. What the heck is going on in this room? Look at this mess. What the behavior chart is, is I get three check marks a day. Green for good behavior, yellow for warnings, or red for bad behavior. Or red for you fucked up. You threw them crowns on the floor and you didn't pick them up. You fucked up. You know, she's actually been quite good until the past two days. Oh, no. Look, a lot of greens here. She's done well. I'm actually quite proud. Here, and based on how many you have, daddy sets out a punishment or he lets you pick out a reward. And they have quite a select... Oh, shit. <laughs> she gets spanked. <laughs> oh, God. You and I both know that she'll be naughty just so she can get a fucking spanking. You and I know. She'll be like, yeah, I'm going to get free reds, free reds today. Get free red ticks and I get a spanking. Oh, daddy. I'm never saying that again. That felt so weird to say. That, that just... Oh my god, what the fuck? No, just continue playing the video, please. ...of paddles for different punishments. That means you're getting the cane. Is that understood? Yes, um... I grew up in a uh, very disciplinarian household. When I was a kid, I took a very strong interest in the spanking aspect. Something clicked in my head, and I'm like, this is what I like. I've always liked to be in charge. I like to be the boss. I think I was born for this. Why don't you just have a kid? Actually, don't, because you might spank the kid, which is all kinds of fucked up. And he, he likes doing it. He likes spanking a woman who's pretending to be a child. I wonder if they will ever have a kid. If she stays like that, when they do have a kid, that'll be insane. Because then he has to take care of two people, and one is pretending to be a fucking child. Once you go in there, let's get this over with. Yes, sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love how they put the sound effect right at the end. Whoosh! Hey, you better get in there, because I'm going to fucking whip you. I'm going to whip you. What a weird situation to be in. In my eyes, anyway. In, and in a lot of people's eyes. Imagine if, you know, you met some girl on Tinder and she was there like, yeah, uh, I like age play and I want to be a child. Would you, would you say yes if she was a 10 out of 10? If she looked like Selena Gomez, for example, and she was there like, I want to be a child. You're my daddy. You have to take care of me. Would you say yeah? Then Then I would actually, you know, I feel like I'll be a bit 50-50 here. But you know what? I might clean the shit in your diaper. Anyway, that is it for it. <laughs> what a way to fucking end it. <laughs> that is it for us today. I'm done. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. What a way to fucking end the video. <laughs> I'll fucking clean Selena Gomez's fucking diapers for fuck's sake. <laughs> Oh, fuck it, you know.